Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Random BS. And in today's episode of Random BS, we're going to talk about Charlemagne, the fraud, was forced to apologize to Kwame Brown. Now over the weekend, Charlemagne has been catching a whole lot of smoke for bringing up Kwame Brown's um, information, private information about his family and stuff. And Charlemagne has been catching a lot of flack over the weekend. People from all over the place been going in on this clown. And it serves him right. Because he had nothing to do with uh, the Steven Jackson and uh, Matt Barnes, you know, issue. And so he decided to throw himself in and brought that information that should have been, you know, kept out of the public light, even though it's public information. The majority of the people didn't even know this stuff was going on. So Charlemagne thought it would be cool to go on this radio show and do that stuff. And so when uh, Kwame Brown responded, you know, and then all, after all over the weekend, Charlemagne hurried up and had a cease and desist letter sent by his attorney to Kwame Brown and then he went out this uh today on this on the show and apologized in my most humblest opinion the reason I think that Charlemagne apologized is because Kwame Brown started bringing up you know some of the things that Charlemagne done in the past like drugging uh a underage woman an underage child rather not a woman this this girl was a child and he pled uh to a lesser charge but he even admitted that he you know drugged you know put something in a, 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 a little girl's drink 15 year old girl at the time if i'm not mistaken she was 15 years old at the time that he uh you know put some stuff in her drink and she drunk it and we all know you know things that happen after that so Kwame Brown started talking about you know how is this guy able to do this to a minor and and, and still have, be on a syndicated t- uh, radio show and and, and and that you know keeps sticking in my head too you know like why is this dude still on the earth you know, any other black man that does any kind of type of crap like this is not going to be on a syndicated radio show every morning like it ain't no big deal and allowed to talk about it and brag about it. That's just not going to happen. But for some reason, Charlemagne is able to do that and, you know, you know, I've heard different opinions and things like that but I do know and I've heard other you uh, another youtuber talk about this too if Charlemagne would have did what he did to that girl that girl would have been a white girl Charlemagne would not be on the breakfast club it's 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 just that that whole show all three of those members of that show the breakfast club is some weirdos every last one of them are Charlemagne, that sorry DJ, and that tramp they got up there. All of them are some some complete weirdos. And see, Charlemagne should have stayed out of it in the first place. Because it wasn't, you know, his issue. Let Matt Barnes and Stephen and Steven Jackson, you know, handle they handle their own business. You know, they the ones started it. Kwame Brown. Shit, I didn't even know Kwame Brown was even on YouTube until this whole stuff kicked off. You know, and, and the sad thing about it is Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes too old to be acting like this. Charlemagne is too. But see, Charlemagne is a tool for the powers to be because they keep him around because he have no issue with throwing black men under the bus and talking crazy to black men. So that's one of the reasons what I why I think they even keep him his useless butt around. And once they done with him, 
he'll find himself probably in a situation like Bill Cosby. I would not be surprised. But see, you know, people like, you know, people like Charlemagne is, you know, he was brought up under the wings of, I don't even know if Wendy Williams is even a man or, or a woman. I don't know what she is. She looks like a man. Under the tutelage of Wendy Williams. So, you know, back in the day when she was doing radio, she was, you know, she got away with talking reckless to men solely because she probably was a woman. And Charlemagne thinks that he can do that. But we all know how that one guy stole on him, punched her right in the face, and he ran like a coward. And that's all he really is in the first place. He get he gets up, goes to that radio show, talk mad shit, and then go runs and hides. But that whole show is is designed to keep you know black pe- black people stupid and to bash black men. That's all that show is on the earth for. It ain't. It ain't, it, nothing positive comes out of that show. It's all uh, fuck shit and uh, buffoonery. That's the only thing that you're going to get from, from the Breakfast Club radio show is three idiots up there. Well, two idiots and a, and a dumb tramp. That's all you're going to get up, that's all you're going to get out of that is be dumber than what you was the day before if you constantly listen to that stuff that they spewing on the Breakfast Club. They ain't bringing no tangibles to the table. And so Charlemagne should have apologized. For one, Carme Brown brought that work to him. And then over the weekend, uh Funk Master Flex brought that work to him. So so Charlemagne like, yeah, I gotta get out of this because we don't need people bringing up the past. We don't need them bringing up to where where the hell is me too at when you need them? Where the hell is Me Too at when you need him? But see, Me Too won't go out to people like Charlemagne. It won't go out to people like him. Because he's a tool that they use to to uh, attack black men with. So they'll keep him around for now. But once again, you know, I'm glad that, uh, that he did apologize because what he did was wrong. And Charlemagne, and for Charlemagne and the rest of them, the other two morons that's on that show with him, you know, when you see two grown grown men handling business that ain't got nothing to do with you, stay out of it. Stay the hell out of it. You know, they the one brought that smoke on they self. They got a show called All the Smoke. So they must want when they get in the smoke, that's what they want. So you stay out of it. Stay out of it. If you like the content, feel free to share it, like and subscribe to the channel. Peace, and I'm out.